taking off the old man and putting on the new man. Amen. And, and now we're talking about the um, being sanctified. Amen. And, 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 a, and a lot of times being sanctified, you gotta you gotta let those like you're saying, you gotta let those bad things go, those past histories go, that boyfriend, that girlfriend. Amen. And if, and if they really love you, then you got you gotta tell them, well, I'm 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 saved now. And, and I'm trying to walk on my deliverance. If you love me, you need to marry me. Amen. Amen. When you when you talk that in word, they 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 start. They they find out who really who. <laughs> and, 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 amen. Um, a, a lot of times, a, a lot of times being sanctified. I was I was talking about strongholds early. Um, um, you, you you break them strongholds when you get sanctified. Right. No, no longer do you uh uh shack up. Or, That's right. Uh, smoke marijuana or do those things. Uh, that you that you're not supposed to be doing. Uh, sanct, sanct, sanctified, you know. Sometimes I believe got a bad rap. Okay. A amen. Because when I got saved and I, and I got delivered and begin to begin to get sanctified, I realized that you can still have fun. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But be sanctified. Yes. You can do Holy Ghost full things. Yes. Amen. 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 And I think that that's the part that a lot of people don't fully understand, the sanctification, and understanding that sanctification is a process. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the Word talks about renewing our mind daily. That's right. So, some, some, so sometimes uh, we, we go through situations, but if we, but if we read this Word, this, this, this Word don't lie. The Bible say that God is a man that he, that he, that he should not lie, he cannot lie. I, I gave commandments to bless and can't reverse them. God ain't even going to reverse what he said for you in your life. He's not. But, but, but believe this, believe this. The, the Bible speaks about the poor being with us always. Always. The reason why they're going to be with us always, they're not doing Bible. So they're not obedient to that word. Goes right back to the first thing that we was talking about. Amen. But when you're in darkness, you don't know nothing about that. You don't. You you have the world standards. You have the world's way of living. The world is strange to you. It's it's foreign. It's it's Greek. But, but it's Chinese. But lady, but lady T, why is why is the saints still talking about they the saints? All right. Why the saints still talking about they sick? I'm broke. This 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 child's getting on my nerves. Just that this man driving me crazy. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's right. You gotta speak that thing into existence. That's right. This is just like God said when God said, "Let there be light." He spoke it into existence. We are the gods on the earth. Amen. So God is God is looking, and God is supposed to see an image right. of Himself. We we have the same capabilities. Wasn't we created in His likeness? Amen. Amen. You can take that to Genesis, and if we created in His likeness, and if we have the same authority, we should be able to do those same things. Have lady T, have you ever wanted something, and just thought about? It? Audience, have you ever wanted something, and just thought about it? Just thought about it, and then all of a sudden, it was there. It was there. You you thought that thing into existence. That's right. You, that, and that is the same ability that 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 we have. We we can speak it. So so start watching your confession. And by his by the words say by his daily walk. Amen. And that is so true that we speak those things into existence. And when you're talking about believers and non-believers, either way, you speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. So if you're speaking uh, blessings or curses, you know what I'm saying? So blessings is to speak well of somebody. Curses is to speak evil of evil somebody. somebody. So whichever one you're speaking, that's what you're bringing into your existence. So just as the angels go to and fro to hearken to the word and try Amen. to hear the word of God, you have demons going to and fro to, and fro. to hearken to that demonic things. And you know, the Bible says that it's not flesh and blood that we battle against. It's principalities oh, and darkness and high, high places. places. High so we places. have to pray about it, like you said, to bring those strongholds down so we can walk out that sanctification. And, and, this is, and this is why we have to get to really know our word. Amen. Really, I mean, if you, if whatever, um, I, I don't really teach the uh, study out of different Bibles. Amen. But if you but if you're going to uh, uh, study out different Bibles, make sure you have other translations there so you can compare and make sure that it that it is still 
uh, uh, lining up. Right. Because uh, I ain't gonna call a Bible name, but I, I read I read a Bible one time. It took a scripture so totally out of context. And then we have to understand the Greek terminology, the Hebrew terminology, because once the words are translated from Greek, it's a it's a whole different meaning. Amen. 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 This is why you have to um you have to study to show yourself approved. Study to show yourself approved. Because the one thing by, by the Bible being truth and living and life, the Bible is alive. It, it, it's alive. It it speaks to us and, and it constantly unfolds. So by the Bible being alive, the scripture that I read today can minister to me one way. And I can read that same scripture two years from now when I'm living in different situations and circumstances and it ministered to me totally. a whole nother way. So the word of God is alive, the word of God is true, and that's the only way that we're going to be able to stand against the fiery darts of the enemy. Amen, because you have to feed, you have to feed that spiritual man. Like we eat natural food, mm -hmm. this, is, this is the spiritual food that we must eat. And if, and if we don't eat it, then we literally walk the we the walking dead. We walking dead. And I, ain't, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to be part of the walking dead. Amen. 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 So too many movies. Like that. <laughs> ain't no walking deads around here. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back with our final thoughts. That is so interesting. Thank you for watching. Do you know him? Do you know him? Do you know him? I'm your host, Lady T, with my special guest, Pastor Kevin Finney from Detroit, Michigan. Pastor Kevin, thank you so thank you much for coming and for having being me. a guest on my show today. I really, really appreciate it. And to the viewing audience, I hope you learned something today with our topic, Walking Out Your Salvation. And remember, only you can walk out your salvation. So, till next time, thank you for tuning in to Do You Know Him? 